Hey guys, this is Miss Holly, and this is my this is my uh, co-worker from home right now. This is Kent, and we wanted to share with you one of our favorite books that we like to read while we're at home together. Um, this book is called Giraffes Can't Dance, and if you can't tell, my buddy loves his Sophie giraffe, so we're big fans of giraffes around here. So we're going to share our favorite book with you guys right now. Gerald was a tall giraffe whose neck was long and slim, but his knees were awfully crooked and his legs were rather thin. He was very good at standing still and munching shoots off trees, but when he tried to run around, he buckled at the knees. Now, every year in Africa, they hold the jungle dance where every single animal turns up to skip and prance. And this year, when the day arrived, poor Gerald felt so sad because when it came to dancing, he was really very bad. The warthogs started waltzing and the rhinos rock and rolled. The lions danced a tango that was elegant and bold. The chimps all did a cha-cha with a very Latin feel, and eight baboons then teamed up for a splendid Scottish reel. Gerald swallowed bravely as he walked toward the floor, but the lions saw him coming and they soon began to roar. Hey, look at clumsy Gerald, the animals all sneered. Giraffes can't dance, you silly fool. Oh, Gerald, you're so weird. All the animals gathered around, laughing at him. Gerald simply froze up. He was rooted to the spot. They're right, he thought. I'm useless. Oh, I feel like such a clot. So he crept from off from the dance floor and he started walking home. He'd never felt so sad before, so sad and all alone. So they're all dancing without him. Then he found a little clearing and he looked up at the sky. The moon can be so beautiful, he whispered with a sigh. Excuse me, coughed a cricket who'd seen Gerald earlier on, but sometimes when you're different, you just need a different song. Listen to the swaying grass and listen to the trees. To me, the sweetest music excuse me, is the branches and the breeze. So imagine that the lovely moon is playing just for you. Everything makes music if you really want it to. With that, the cricket smiled and picked up his violin. Then Gerald felt his body do the most amazing thing. Yeah. His hooves had started shuffling and making circles on the ground. His neck was gently swaying and his tail was swishing around. Yeah, look at him dancing. He's doing his own kind of dance, isn't he? He threw his legs out sideways and he swung them everywhere. Then he did a backward somersault and leapt up into the air. Yeah, he's turning, he's turning cartwheels in the sky. Gerald felt so wonderful. His mouth was open wide. I'm dancing. Yes, I'm dancing. I am dancing. Gerald cried. Then one by one, each animal who'd been there at the dance arrived when Gerald boogied on and watched him, quite entranced. They shouted, it's a miracle. We must be in a dream. Gerald's the best dancer that we've ever, ever seen. So he was better than everybody anyway, right? How did you learn to dance like that? Please, Gerald, tell us how. But Gerald simply twirled around and finished with a bow. Oh, they're throwing flowers to him and everything. Then he raised up his head and looked up at the moon and stars above. We can all can dance, he said, when we find music that we love. And that's called Giraffes Can't Dance. Thank you guys for reading with us this morning.
Hope everybody's having a great day at home. Stay healthy.